Hello everyone, welcome to a quick guide on how to place ramps with an access ramp. So now that we have everything set up, an access ramp, we're going to generate a single ramp. So we'll click generate ramp and the toolbar provided with an access ramp. We're going to select a design guideline that we'll be using today. So let's just go with the California DOT's guideline. We'll select a normal perpendicular curb ramp. We'll just be placing a single curb ramp for today. We're going to make sure our curb standards are correct. So we have our California DOT's. Uh, we're using the Cal Caltrans A16 curb type. We're going to be selecting uh, to hook our curb ramp onto the back of curb. So our, our curb geometry will represent the will be represented as the back of curb today. And then we'll, cl we'll click OK. And then we'll select our curb geometry that we wish to anchor our curb ramp to. So here we go. Because this is a an alignment, so we have a horizontal, uh, horizontal and vertical alignment available. So we'll be selecting our vertical profile that we would like to use today. If you're using a line or polyline, line strings, or complex chains, you might have extract from geometry, or you would have fixed elevation where you can then select which what elevation you would like your curb ramp to be placed on. Click OK here. We'll click a secondary geometry. So if we do not have one, we can then offset the primary geometry to obtain a secondary geometry. Or if we have one readily available to use to represent the back of our sidewalk or our property line, we will select at this moment. Again, we have the vertical profile selection available. We'll click OK. We'll select an existing surface that we would like to tie our design surface into. But if you do not have one, you don't need to worry about it. It's just an additional feature that you can use. We will then select where we want our curve ramp to be placed on. So I would like to place it here, right in line with my crosswalk. And in doing so, once I'm done, I can then edit using the grip points or dialog box that I will show you in the next video. For now, I'll click OK and I'll let you see the 3D model that was generated by our software.